Hey there, my name is Caitlin and today I'm going to take you through a recent update that we made to purchase options. So now when you make global changes to purchase options, you can review the affected clients and decide if the changes also apply to clients who own the purchase option and it's already been edited on their client profile. Global changes refer to changes that you make here on the purchase option setup page. So these ones are going to affect the entire purchase option, not just one specific client. In order to get to the purchase option setup screen, I just clicked on the app drawer and then found setup. If you don't have setup pinned here in the app drawer, you can always click on view all and you can find it right here under S. Within setup, I opened up store configuration and then I just selected purchase options. So that's how we got here and I'm going to show you what this actually looks like. So I'm going to select an existing purchase option that I know has been sold to clients. So I'm going to choose this one here. It's a 12 month membership. Now this is also going to work for your session passes and your packages. We're just using this membership as an example. So now that this has been created, let's say that after it's been sold to a few clients, I want to come back and make a few changes. So I'm going to come back into this screen. First thing in my example today that I want to change is the price. So we're going to be increasing that from $40 to $50 every month. And I also want this to auto renew. So right now the after expiration behavior for this is for it to do nothing, but I would like to change that to auto renew. And I'm going to make sure that clients do have control over that. And you can make whatever other changes you want on this page. You can do them up here at the top, or you can always open up your advanced settings as well. So once you're done, you've made all of your changes, go ahead and click save. And before you're taken back to the main purchase options screen, you'll see this pop-up window here that gives you more information. So the warning up here at the top lets you know that these changes will affect clients who have already purchased this membership. If you don't want the changes to affect clients that already own this membership, you'll want to go ahead and create a new purchase option with the configuration that you want. So below that, there is a toggle here to decide if you want to apply these changes to active client purchases that have been edited. So if my client has this membership and it's been edited on the passes and memberships page of their client profile, I could go ahead and toggle this to the on position to apply these changes to that client as well. One of the cool things of this update as well is that you can now see a list of clients that these changes are going to affect. So currently I don't have any, but if you do see a different number here that is more than zero, you can go ahead and click right on affected clients. It's gonna open up a list in a brand new tab for you. And then finally, down at the bottom here, you've got the item to show a summary of changes. So if you click on that, it's going to expand down below. And it's a really good idea to review this because it's gonna give you an overview of everything that you have changed so you can make sure that everything is totally correct. So I can see here that I've updated my price from 40 to $50, that's correct. And then I also made sure to double check that my after expiration settings, I changed it to auto renew. And I also made sure that we enabled client control. So all of that looks correct. I'm gonna go ahead and click update. So then once that's done, you are taken back to your main purchase options screen and your changes have been saved. So that covers making global changes to purchase options and reviewing how they affect your clients. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.